the bids from general contractors are, are nice. They make them look nice and pretty that, oh, it's, you know, Miss Jones, it's only going to cost you about $15,000. Maybe she did budget for that. Well, the 15000 is to remove the existing and replace with new fixtures. Well, once you rip out the countertop that's been in her house for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, once you remove those cabinets, you open up a whole other can of problems. It's what you can't see where the hidden costs are. What uh, I've, I've been told from general contractors before is on the flip side of it, the, the unseen is about a 25 to 30 percent increase in their bid for the unexpected. That's what you should be planning on as a homeowner if you're going to rip everything out and replace you, it. You don't know what's underneath the surface. So say you go to pull a cabinet out or counter out or a bathtub out. There's all this hidden stuff in the wall, you know, those plumbing, uh, rotted wood, and sometimes things that may be okay, but if they're discovered, then they're not up to code, and that may lead to a whole nother can of worms. Uh, and the time, typically we'll come in and take care of something in a day or two. You tear something out, you could be lingering for weeks. Stay with a bathtub. We come in, we mask off the drain because we don't want to take out the drain because you never know what might happen. It could break. So we mask off the drain, we refinish the tub. If you try to take out that tub, many times you find dry rot, the plumbing is corroded behind it, you have to change the flooring, you have to you know, change the wall, it becomes a major project. And if all you have is a green or a pink or a yellow bathtub and or a worn bathtub and that's your only problem, we've got a simple solution and you're, you know, you're on your way again. There are um, lots of hidden things that you'll find when you're doing a renovation on an old house that aren't up to code today. Uh, wiring is not done up to code. Now, as far as mold and things like that go, we don't want to shoot over mold anyway. So if there is mold in a house, then it should be taken care of and it should be abated before we would ever get in there to do the job. But that is pretty rare. Our competitors, uh, especially uh, the people that put liners up around the uh, bath surround and over the bathtubs, will say all of the time that, uh, that they don't do that. You know, um, if anybody's in this business uh, and has to take those liners out and those surrounds down, which we do quite often, uh, you will find mold and nasty stuff behind those walls. They will sell that uh, what they have each and every time is mold on a wall. So they should do something completely different, like rip down a wall. Um, that's fear-mongering. 99% of the time, there's mildew on a wall. Mildew is not harmful to people. Mold is. Mildew is nice, just unsightly. And that's what's usually in grout. Well, with our chemicals and our, our, our MM4, or with our, sorry, our step one or step two, uh, we remove that very quickly. By the time we shoot over top and seal it completely, it'll never come back, ever. So, um, I think that uh, if somebody can avoid a full remodel and a full tear out, it's, it's by far to their advantage, by far.